In this video, we're going to set up a project using Playwright Sharp. A comment came in from Yosef asking if I could do a video on setting up a Playwright Sharp project. So that's what we're going to show today. But first, if this is your first time visiting my page. I do content to get people more interested in software development. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. So we're going to start by creating a new project. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to search for XGNet. And then when you search for action, you're just going to assign in a project name. We'll just do it demo test. And I'm going to send that to this folder because it's my pro folder. We now have an XGNet test set up, which is great, but we need to install a Playwright Sharp and we're going to do that through the NuGet package manager. So we're just going to right click on our project, go down to Ma manage NuGet packages. And then we're just going to search for uh, Playwright Sharp. And obviously I need to move over to the browse tab instead of the install tab. So we're just going to click here, click on install, and this is going to take a minute, but we're just going to accept all the pop-ups that pop up until it's installed. But when you get that done, you should just be able to go ahead and run that and make sure your thing builds. I always like to do that right after installing NuGet packages, just in case anything funky happens. I don't want to go do more work if that didn't work. At this point, we're just going to pop in some Playwright code. Skadoosh. So we've dumped in our code and we're just gonna go ahead and hit control period to pull up this hot menu. And I'm just gonna hit enter to use Playwright Sharp. And I'm gonna do the same thing with tasks, uh, system threading tasks. And at this point we now have a working test. So if we go ahead and go ahead and click run, the first time you run these tests, it might take a little bit longer because Playwright Sharp is actually gonna download the browsers in the back end. This test can and could time out the first time you run it. It could take longer than 30 seconds. Mine, it had already been downloaded previously, but so this first run was 7.8 seconds because it's getting all the updates. The next time you go run this test, it should be much quicker. This is the base that you're going to want to use. You're going to want to use something like this where you have one browser for all your tests. The browser is the heavy object. You don't want to create a new browser for every test. Because inside the browser, when you actually look at my tests, what we're going to do is create a new page. And this, this new page with this new context, this context and this page are super lightweight. The browser's heavy, opening up a new tab in the browser very quick. So that way, when you do your second, third, fourth, fifth test in the same class, you just keep that heavy browser object and you can use your context. Because in Playwright Sharp, all contexts are separate. So they're not going to bleed over on top of each other unless you're purposely trying to. This makes it very easy to go write your tests at this point and have a good testing structure. So I'll just uh, scroll back up here so that you can see these. I'm going to put up a card in the corner here for test recorder versus coding your own. If you go into that video, you'll see the difference between using a test recorder and coding your own and where test recorders can fail, but you can get around to all of that when you code your own tests. I'll also have a link in the description below to that one and also the video I'm going to link at the end, five great features of Playwright. And you can go way deeper into what makes Playwright awesome. While you're in the description, you might as well check out the Audible link in there. You can get two free eBooks, but I'll just leave you with the links on the side here that you can go click on in the next video.